The rotation schedule is made up of three main components, which all have to be in place before you can schedule any learner. The first component is the learner list. If you've not already added your learners to your Rolodex, please see below for additional resources on managing your Rolodex. The second key component to creating a rotation schedule is blocks. This content was covered in our training video called Blocks. Please see the link to this video and other resources below. The last component that is needed in order to schedule learners is to create the rotations themselves. Each group or program in 145 will need to have its own set of rotations, even if the schedules are coming from an overall schedule. If your program doesn't yet have any rotations entered or a new rotation is being offered, your first step will be to create the rotation or rotations. To create a rotation, go to Setup and click Manage Rotations. This will open up a new tab in your browser, which will show a list of the active rotations you currently have. At the top left-hand corner of the new page, you will see a green button called Create a New Rotation. When you click that button, a box will appear inside a dark gray background, and this is where you can fill in a rotation name, abbreviation, site, service, course code, and tag. The name and abbreviation can be the same text, but the abbreviation is the text that displays on the rotation schedule. We recommend picking a naming convention that is clear, concise, and consistent throughout all of your programs. This will make it easier when reporting or when looking through a rotation list. Some suggestions for naming conventions are course name, colon, site name, or course code, dash, course name, dash, site name. For example, Surge colon VGH or 402 dash surge dash VGH. Clicking on the site drop down menu will expand a list of your current rotation sites using the abbreviated name. Identifying a site for a rotation is useful for reporting purposes and should be included where possible, especially if you're an analytics customer. Missing or new site names can be added to the list by submitting a support ticket to 145. Be sure to include the full name and the abbreviation that you wish to display. You may also add a service type to your rotation. This is also a list created by 145. So if this is something you would like to add, please contact 145. Add your course code to your rotations when possible. This would normally include the subject code and then the course code. This is a very important step if you subscribe to our analytics products. Lastly, you can tag the rotation as core, elective, or selective. If you choose not to use a tag, the field will default to none. Once you've entered all the required and optional information, scroll to the bottom of the box and click Add New Rotation. The new rotation has now been added to your active rotations list and will be displayed in alphabetical order. You might need to scroll or click through other pages here if your rotation list is long and your new rotation falls further down the alphabet. To edit a rotation, simply click on the pencil icon to the left of the abbreviation. Hovering over the icon in the Evaluation Workflow column will allow you to see whether an evaluation workflow has been set up for the rotation or not. The Hover feature in the Linkages column allows you to see whether a rotation linkage exists for a particular rotation. If you have a rotation that is no longer offered, you may want to deactivate that rotation in order to keep your active list current. Deactivating a rotation will not delete previously collected data, nor will it unschedule someone who has already been scheduled into that rotation. It also will not stop evaluations from being sent for previously scheduled rotations. Deactivating a rotation will stop learners from being scheduled into the rotation in the future and the evaluation workflow will no longer be editable. It's best to delete any workflows related to the rotation before you make it inactive. To deactivate a rotation, click the box to the left of the rotation name, which will cause a deactivate button to appear at the top left of the page. Click that button. If you want to see your list of inactive rotations, click Inactive Rotations under Rotation Views in the left sidebar. Once on the inactive rotations page, you may be able to delete a rotation if it has never been used in the rotation schedule and if there aren't any evaluations that have gone out in relation to that rotation. If there is a red circle with an X in the delete column, then you can safely delete the rotation. If you wish to reactivate an inactive rotation, click on the box to the left of the rotation to make the activate button appear. 
This completes our video on managing rotations. Our next video will explain how to schedule learners into those rotations.